Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Anna and this is my first monthly budget on this channel for my um, single mom budget budgets. We're going to be budgeting for September. So let's get started. This is a page from one of the Erin Condra notebooks. I used this one touch adhesive to put in here because my son drew all over the actual monthly layout page, which is fine. No big deal. We just covered that right up. So I've got my list of bills and let's get started to make this look a little bit better. So I, sorry, I should have had this stuff out of my little binder already, but I didn't. So I just use a little mini binder. I've got little sheet protectors for my stickers. I love the Planner Kate stickers. Um, these are her um, budget stickers. I've got four pages in four different colors. These stickers are from Chrissy Ann Designs. Um, I got them in the Gen Plans colorway. I just, I like the colors a lot better. And then my washi strips I got also from Planner Kate on Etsy. Um, both shops I will link below in the description box. This is the uh, lavender, lavender and lemons. I loved it. I was so upset when it was sold out. I ordered it immediately when it was restocked. So let's get started. And these are just the add-ons for the kids. So this is just the monthly. Um, it was for August, I believe. Yes, because I ordered the monthly kit also. Um, this is just an add-on for the thick washi. We're just going to put this. I'm just not super picky about placement. I just want to cover up this whole flag up there since it doesn't actually belong in this book. And if you look closely, it's kind of see-through still. Now, I'm not going to write anything up there yet. I don't have any like labels or anything. I'm just going to save this washi for later. Okay, so I do have my list of bills. This is more for my monthly, monthly layout and weekly layouts. Um, so, we're going to get started. Now, I just use Pilot G2. I love these pens. They're smooth. Alright, so I'm going to put income here. I'm going to do budgeted actual plus or minus. Now my paydays for September, I get paid every other Tuesday and I got paid on the 21st. So September 4th and September 18th. So we'll do 9, 4, and 9, 18. I only have the one job and it's our only income. So I just put my paydays there and then I'll do a little toll here. So I'm going to put in some lines. Oh, it did not add enough lines for that 
total section. We'll just go ahead and put that down a little more. Okay. And then I am a little bit OCD. I like to block these off so I know. So I'm just going to separate that total from there. Now, for my budget, if you did not watch my paycheck budget for the 21st, let me get these little sticky notes off of here, I show my pay stub, don't care, not worried about it. Um, I make $11.25 an hour for my position, and on a fantastic week, I'll get a ton of overtime, but on average, my paychecks are less than $800. So I always budget about $750 because if I get 40 hours a week each week, then my gross month, my gross income on a paycheck is $900 before taxes. So I budget myself to have $1,500 per month. So we're just going to do, um, I think we'll do this purple one to separate this. And I was so excited for this kit that I got these two add-ons specifically for my September budget. I got this weekly kit for next week, for the first week of September, I guess. And I ordered the monthly kit, and if I'm still in love with it, I'll use it next year. If not, I will hopefully use it or give it away to somebody. Okay, so after that, I'm going to do this first section will be my fixed bills. Let me just make sure you guys can still see that. Okay. So it'll be my fixed bills. And there are some changes um, for this month because I won't be paying rent to my current landlady. I'll be paying it to my mother instead. And we haven't worked out that whole thing. Like, we're not splitting it evenly in half because my income is significantly less than hers. And we're trying to make it so we help both of us out. So, for my um, fixed bills, I do my bill, how much it is, when it's paid. Um, I don't do it when it clears my account because I'll check that off in the monthly view. Um, but generally it's all right in there when it pulls, when it's supposed to pull from my account. Or if I physically pay it, which I, most of my bills are set on auto pay. So we're going to do, um, I'll just go here in order of when they're due. So we'll do... On the 9th is Santander for my car payment. Um, on the 12th is our community health center um, from a bill from, uh, I believe it was in January. Um, my Capital One. And then you'll notice on here I will have three separate bills going to the same person or the same um, company. And that is because when I was just out of high school and um, not really financially educated, I racked up quite a bit of debt in old credit cards. And 
Um, I put off paying them so long, a lot of them went to collections. So now I'm working on paying those, and those are never very high. I do the very minimum right now, just trying to work on paying them down. Um, if you keep following me, you'll notice I sort of follow Dave Ramsey's um, Total Money Makeover, but not really. I just kind of made it work, you know, for me. Oh, I missed Pandora in there. It's due on the 20th. And that, yes, we do pay for that. I pay for the premium. It's $9.99 a month. I get my playlists. I can do offline. Um, we travel a lot, so it's very helpful like to have the online, offline listening when there's no radio stations, um, playlists for like if I want to listen to a certain song or my son wants to listen to the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack for the 12 millionth time. Um, let's see, 30th is this other PRA. And then I will put two for my Wells Fargo. It's due on the second of each month, but I pay it the month before. So like um, this bill for September is paid with my second paycheck in August. So I paid it um, with my check on the 21st. So I include this at the end so that I pay it for October. Um, I'm going to put rent in here, but I'm going to leave this blank because I don't know. We still have to work all of that out, but I'm going to put that on the 30th also. So then we will fill in the amounts. I've got $255.45 for the car, um, $50 for this community health. Uh, my capital one is 25 for the minimum. Um, both of these PRA bills are just $5 a month. Uh, it's the very minimum just to start building them down. Uh, Discover is 20. Um, the Verizon bill is 165. That includes um, my phone plan and the payment for my phone. Um, I did not pay for it outright. Um, my I have a mobile hotspot because we don't uh, we don't pay for internet. We just have the hotspot, and then my phone has a hotspot also. And then um, my son has a tablet because, like I said, we travel a lot, and it's very useful when we're in the car on those long trips. Um, Pandora nine ninety nine. This PRA is ten twenty seven. It's the second smallest payment that I could make and it's the smallest bill so I've paid a little bit more on that. Um, my Wells Fargo credit card is $25 a month and like I said I'm going to leave the rent one blank and to separate that off I think I'm going to use this white polka dot one to kind of give that a little bit of separation. And I discovered recently that these washi strips will fit in between the days on the horizontal planner for Erin Condren. Um, I actually just switched from a horizontal planner to the vertical layout and I love it. And I'm actually going to add in some separator lines here. And I'm not too picky if they match up with the ones above them. That's not real important to me. Okay, so then let's see, down here we're going to do like my knot, they're not fixed, I don't pay them every month or they change every month, so let's see, I'm going to put this one is um, the Friday after payday will be the 7th. I'm going to put the 7th and that is when I will pay my August daycare bill 
and oh, I meant to leave a little line. That's fine. And this one will actually have a budgeted. Oh, um, I'm gonna try not to let that bother me too much. Um, this one will have a budgeted and an actual amount also because I budget my daycare to be 150 each month, which is really really cheap around here. Um, I do, it's the only uh, sort of assistance that I get from the state for being a single mom. They said that I make too much money for anything else, which is fine. It's just a little, little bit of a struggle sometimes. Okay, so anyways, then on the 13th, I have my car insurance. And this bill I pay every other month. So for September it's 206.31. And when I pay that, I won't pay it again until November 13th. Um, let's see. And then I've got I'm gonna include this in here. I plan on canceling this for the time being. But just in case I forget, I'm going to include it. Amazon Prime, um, their prices went up this year, so it's $119 instead of just $99. Um, on the 22nd, my renter's insurance comes due. And that will be $131. And I just pay that annually. Um, I like to just not have to worry about things like that all the time. And then I will also include on here, um, there's 30, 30 days in September, so we'll do the 30th, and I'll do September daycare because I try to pay it uh, the month that it's due, but sometimes my paydays just don't work out that way. Um, but that should be okay, and even if it's not, I will get, um, let's pull up September, I will get paid again on October 2nd, so I mean it's not a terrible amount of time to wait. Also, I think the 30th is on a weekend, but, and I will just budget that as one. 50. Okay, so I, these are not, will still be the same budgeted amount. Um, these three, car insurance, Amazon Prime, and renter's insurance, um, those totals don't really change. The renter's insurance might change because I'm putting it um, on a different, from my apartment to my mom's house. So that will be there. Um, over here, I'm just going to check when it's paid. Not a huge deal. Um, my daycare, I don't really track the actual expense because I track that, um, on my computer for tax purposes. So I'm just going to draw a little line here to separate them. And then I'm going to put... Um, my expenses here, and that will be fuel, um, groceries, uh, cat food. I only buy once a month unless I need more, and then I just buy littler bags of it. Um, and household. So with that, let's see, let me make sure that you guys can see that. Sorry, I'm filming this on my phone. I don't have a real good camera right now. So it's just on my phone on a tripod, which is why you can see the tripod legs. Um, for fuel, I'm gonna budget $80 for the month. Groceries, I'm gonna do 100 because I'll be splitting the grocery bill with my mom. Um, cat food is anywhere from $45 to $60. I try to get $50, and it's just a 12-pound bag. 
Um, I feed my cats. It's called a cana. They love it. It helps with their shedding. Um, it is a little pricier, but it is a great quality of food. Um, for the household, I'm just going to budget $20. Uh, I don't think we need a whole lot for the house. And this, this money, I won't really like super keep track of. I don't use cash envelopes like, um, in Dave Ramsey's money makeover. Let me zoom you back. I don't use the cash envelopes because the cash doesn't really work for me. Um, like with fuel, most of the time I have my son with me. I can't leave him in the car to go in and pay for it. And I don't want to run inside or get him out of the car and run inside to pay for it. So I just don't, I keep that on a card. Um, if I'm diligent about it, this money will get transferred into a second checking account separate from my bills account. And I haven't been super on it lately about that but so this is this is pretty much it and as the month goes on I will do a video for each paycheck and show you guys exactly what um, what comes out of those let's see about doing some highlight separations um, let's see I've got these 4a 4A highlighters, and I really like them, so we're gonna, uh, yeah, purple and pink should work just fine. We're gonna see about, I'm not gonna highlight a whole lot, but I do want to highlight what will come out of each check, and then we'll do these two things there and then I will do this part in pink and I'm not going to highlight Amazon Prime because I, like I said I plan on canceling it but then this way I can kind of separate out um, what's going where and right now this has the bulk of it it used to be this part had the bulk of the money coming out but when I added all of these totals up let's see where it is here I got um, 1577.02 is all of these totals here including Amazon Prime so I would have to exclude something somewhere, or it was just $14.58 without Amazon Prime. So once I get that canceled, it should be all right. So let's go into, I also do include my bills stuff on this, on my monthly spread. So I don't need that sticker anymore. And that's where I use these Gen Plans um, stickers. They don't, I can't use just any pen. They work best, I found, with um, a little Sharpie Fine Point permanent marker. I've tried the Sharpie pens on them. They will smear. These are not considered a permanent marker. They are a pen. Doesn't make much sense to me, but... We will, oh, I forgot to include, I did include that. I forgot to put this on here. Um, our local YMCA does indoor soccer in January for three to five year olds. And my son will be three at the end of this year, so he'll be able to sign up for it. I'm going to include that here because I don't have to do it in September. Um, I'm going to put an X there because it's whenever. Um, and that is just a $35 registration fee. So, okay, I'll stick this back over here. All right, let me... 
make sure you guys can see everything here. So let's get this one out of here. Um, so with this monthly layout, I do um, my bills, activities, uh, school stuff, work, everything. I use this layout for everything. I use my planner for everything. Like this, it looks very busy, but it works for me. You just gotta, you know, find what works for you. So let's see, how did I want to mark my paydays? Okay, so those I have, let me find the right. Um, I got these little um, Create 365 All Glam Planner. I got two of those. Um, a Mom Life themed one. I think I need this one. Let's just flip through here and see. And these have a ton of stickers. I like going through... No, that's not the right page. I like flipping through these stickers because they're so diverse and you get some that are like the matte paper and then some that are like the... Um, let's see if I can find some. Like these, they're like the shiny ones. You don't write on them, but they're clear or transparent or whatever. So we're just going to pull out two of these and scoot this out of the way. We're going to mark the 4th and the 18th. take those out. Um, let's see. I'm about out of these. I should order some more because I like having them on my monthly view. But um, let's see. I think I'm going to use the screen one for my car insurance. Um, 206.31. Alright, now I'm not going to peel any of these off. I'm just kind of going to just leave them to dry for a minute. Okay. I'm going to come here and let me see if I can close this up and zoom you guys in a little bit. Sorry for that that shadow. Alright, too far. We'll zoom you back out. Okay, so I'm going to move that because you just saw that. I'm going to put I like to have my big bills on different color stickers just so they stand out more. Um, so we're going to start with like littler ones to see what I want to do. So community health is 50. Um, capital one, 25. Three of these for PRA, uh, CFG, and WF. And this one is five, this one's five, this one's 1027. Um, let's see, I'll do Discover is 20, um, Pandora. $9.99. I used to have Netflix and Hulu, um, but my mom has those and we don't really need two accounts in the same house. 
that just seems silly to me. I'm just going to put Wells F, and that's 25. And I think, I think I'm going to use purple for daycare, so I'm going to put August daycare and September daycare. And that I will just pay them 150 unless it's more. And I don't know generally until the end of the month. Let's see. And then I will use the purple ones for my larger bills. So I'll do um, car payment. Verizon and rent and I'm still gonna leave that one because I don't know what it'll be but so we're just gonna leave that open I'll fill it in when I know and then let's see I'm gonna put down here I did the car insurance. I'm going to do the renter's insurance um, also in blue. Just because I only pay that once a year. So I'm not too concerned if it's in pink, but I need it to stand out a little bit. So we're going to. that over and sorry see if I can zoom you in a little bit sorry I'm dealing with tripod legs also which is terrible okay so we're just gonna fold that in half and we'll start peeling these stickers off now these ones by Chrissy and Designs, they are not repositionable. So once they're down, um, you might be able to reposition them if you do it quickly, but for the most part, they just stick. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and put car payment is also um, that one is actually due on the 18th but I have an auto pull from my account on the 9th it's not straight okay so you can pull them up if you do it quickly that's still not straight that's okay um, let's see I will have community health bill for the doctor. Um, I had a cyst on my arm that ruptured and that took quite a few visits to get that done. But I am almost done with that bill. Um, let's see. I'm trying to pull, let's see, my Discover comes out on the 19th. And then we'll flip to the other page. These little holidays, I'm not worried about if I cover them. Um, mostly because they're in my perpetual calendar. They're in the daily pages, I think, for the weeklies. Um, let's see. I do want to put this one down for the 30th that will auto pull from my account. Oh, once again, I'm terrible at getting these straight, that's okay. It'll be all right. And then my Verizon bill is due the 25th. That's one of my only bills that's not on auto pay um, because I share the bill with my mom. And the only way to set up auto pay is to do it from one account. 
and so we just never did that. Um, I believe that's all for this side. So we will uh, switch it to this side. And keep going. And sorry, but I probably won't fast forward this just because I feel like... I don't know, like, I don't mind watching the videos that are fast forwarded, but I kind of like to know people's train of thought. And also this is just my second one, so if you guys find that you prefer I fast forward through the sticker parts, I'm sure that I could figure out how to do that. I'm not super tech savvy, so I might need somebody to help me figure it out. I'm sure it's not hard, but... Oh, I know something I missed for the 16th and 17th. Um, these two bills I set to come out just a day apart. I didn't want them to come out on the same day. I don't really know why it matters. I'm sure it doesn't. They're only $5 a piece. Okay, so then we'll move back over here. And I've been having my rent auto withdraw for the past year on the 22nd, so I'm just going to put that there just for the sake of um, like my memory. Um, I'm going to pay August's daycare on the 7th, and then I will do September's daycare, when is this payday, on the 18th? So I'll probably do that on the 21st. I try to get it done the uh, the Friday after payday. And then my renter's insurance is due here. Okay, so I really do need to get some more of these. I do like them. But all right, so that is my monthly um, my monthly budget. It's just real simple, but it works for me. You got to find what works for you. Um, any questions or comments? Um, my contact information will be down in the description box. Also, leave any comments. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm going to leave this in here because I do have to make a note of it for when I do my monthly planning. Um, otherwise, I guess that's everything. I'll see you guys when I do my September um, monthly plans. Bye!